hopefully I'm focused. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. So in today's video is going to be a fall jeans try on haul. So I bought a ton of jeans to figure out which ones fit the waist and the butt at the same time because I know jeans are like the hardest item clothing piece to get to fit you the way you want. So basically I bought from a bunch of different brands to see whether or not I like them. Let's just get into the video. Okay, so first pair, I'm all over the place. Where? First pair, sorry, are the Abercrombie and Fitch straight leg. I think it's like the 90s straight leg, but curvy line. The 90s straight ultra high rise. So these are way more expensive than Hollister. Hollister has really good curvies, which I will be mentioning those as well. But I really liked how Abercrombie and Fitch had like the straight leg look, whereas Hollister doesn't have that many. And then it's just got like a hole at the knee and the waist fits me really nice. And it has plenty of room on the back side. It is a very flattering jean. It's very cute, trendy, and yeah, just if you're not looking for something skinny but you're not looking for the skater jeans, these are the perfect ones. They are a little bit more expensive, but the curvy line is 100% gonna fit your waist and butt. So I 10 out of 10 recommend these. It's high quality denim. They're, yeah, just a good, pair of jeans that you can invest in and will last you a long time. So it fits the waist really nice, fits the backside, very similar fit to Hollister, except I didn't have to get long length. I just got regular. So Abercrombie and Fitch lengthwise is normal, whereas Hollister runs pretty short. Um, no raw hem at the bottom, just goes into like a straight leg. I like this fit. It's like, less in your face is like I guess dad jeans because it's like the bottom isn't as wide so if you don't really like that look definitely get you some straight legs it's got the little rip detail I love this like vintage blue denim color Next, I got some jeans from ASOS, the brand Pull and Bear, because I saw Megan Grubb was wearing these. And she didn't really list what exact pair, she just said the brand. Um, it looked like it fit her waist and glutes, like bum, backside, but for me, it just did not. The waist is really big and I have no, no room on the glutes. So there's that. I probably should have gone a size up, but it is what it is. I'm just, I really don't know if I'll be able to wear these, but the style is still very cute. Cause it's like the, these are a lot wider than the Abercrombie and Fitch ones. But yeah, I really like this color denim and how it's got like the brown patch back here. Reminds me of like Levi's. Very vintage feel, it just unfortunately didn't fit the best. I would still wear them, my butt just will look like a pancake because it squishes so much. Maybe I'll cut a hole, give me some room, <laughs> I don't really know. Um, but they were 40, actually not much stretch. It has a tad bit, but it's like still to the point where I definitely should have sized up in my normal size. But again, I just really love the skater look. There is some room on the back side, like on the waist, but right here is extremely tight and restricting and the, like the back side is, like there is nothing flattering about that or comfortable at all. I just really like how wide leg they are. It's very vintage looking. I don't know which Pull and Bear, ASOS, jeans, Megan Grubb got, but it, Ain't no way of these, cause these are not comfortable out. Like it's cute, it's just uh, you're gonna be miserable and you're not gonna feel confident because your butt is just gonna be a pancake. So, 
do with that what you will. If you're looking for some good mom jeans, are Hollister Curvy. So these are just like mom jeans where they kind of like, they're shorter so I you can cuff them. Um, they go kind of skinny at the bottom, but like looser fit up top, I guess is how you describe mom jeans. I don't know, but I love the Curvy line just because it's super high rise, fits your waist and gives you lots of room. And like they're the most flattering jeans I own. So they make the backside look really good. So I have these in the mom jeans and they're not skinny, but they're not like the wide leg. So you can like easily fold them. And I feel like mom jeans come like a little bit above your ankle. Hollister like curvy, very flattering. So I still wear these. Fits my waist perfectly, has plenty of stretch. And I also have them in the ones I'm currently wearing, which I will show. These are just the skaters, so they're honestly not like, Hollister doesn't have that baggy of jeans like these are considered skater but skater and other brands like would be like the leg at the bottom would be huge so this is they're still cute though and they're very flattering um got the giant rips which i really like very trendy and it just fits perfect so when in doubt hollister curvy is if you're gonna buy any of these go to hollister and I get them in a long just because Hollister jeans run really short and regular is just too short. And I like longer jeans to give that baggy fit. It's got two holes. The waist like sucks you in. Like I don't even need to tie the back. Um, and it's got plenty of stretch in the back side. So you don't have to worry about it not fitting. So next I have these I got from Fashion Nova, but they're actually the brand Vibrant MIU. And yeah, they're these pink bell bottoms with rips at the knees and they're high rise. I absolutely love this brand because they're very stretchy. And I love this style just because bell bottoms, I don't know, I feel like they make me look curvier because like the bottom kind of flares out nicely. So I just, I feel more confident in this style. I know it's not as popular as it used to be like a year or two ago, but I still wear them. They're still like my fave style of jeans. Okay, next I have Zara. If you follow me on Instagram, you know how this went down when I was trying them on. I hear so many good things about Zara jeans and I see thicker girls wearing Zara jeans and I, like saying it's got such good stretch. So I was like, all right, let me snag me a pair. And uh, they lied. Zara does not have good stretch. Also, the quality is I tried these on and the first time I tried them on, they literally ripped. So, literally no stretch. These are like my favorite skater, like super baggy jeans that I've owned, but it's not flattering at all on the backside. Ripped. Uh, so yeah, now I have to like, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like patch it, do some like patchwork. So instead of sewing it back up, kind of expand it to give me more room and put like a cool patch you know make it unique because I want to keep these just because the front like from the back it's not that cute we're gonna not look at the back but the front is like exactly what I like in skater 
baggy jeans. Um, it's just very cute and trendy with the crop top and some like Air Jordans it is very trendy. And I love how many rips it has. Like I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, I need. And then the bottoms are raw hem, super like wide leg. And yeah, it's just, and it's not even like, I mean, I guess I could have sized up, but then the waist would have been huge because even in this size four, the waist was still big. So I can't imagine like the six would be even bigger and still probably would not fit my butt. So I'm still not sure about Zara sizing or if it's even worth it. These are like $50 and they ripped the first time I put them on. So the denim quality is not that good, but they are really cute. <laughs> Okay, so here are the Zara jeans. They're pretty long, but with like shoes, I don't really mind, especially for the baggy. Look, it's got holes all down the legs. Really tight on my backside, like sucking me in. Waist, not too bad. Now that I have it on, it's not as bad as I thought it was. So I definitely could have sized up. Here's where I ripped my pants. Lovely. I'm not really into like skinny jeans anymore. Um, they just kind of remind me of high school and middle school days because it's literally all I ever wore. But I still wanted to include a pair that are really nice, have good stretch, just because I know they do come in handy when you need like a, if you're wearing like knee high boots or something that you need to like fit in. They're a good pair and I know some people still really like skinny jeans. So these are again from Fashion Nova. And these are the Nikita high rise skinny jeans and then light blue wash. When I get jeans, my go to are ones that have like the button up, like where there's no zipper, it's just buttons. Honestly, I feel like it fits the waist better and like, I'm not kidding, anytime I get shorts or jeans that are just like button up, no zip, yeah, it's just way more comfortable and I feel like it sucks in my waist a little bit more. Yeah, I, my opinion, I don't really know if that's facts, but it does the job. So I got these, they're very stretchy. Again, I think these were like 50 or 60% stretch. And again, just skinny jeans, your basic pair. I love light wash colors like this just because I feel like, again, flattering on the backside. I'll have these linked down below because Fashion Nova, let's be honest, their jeans are like really affordable, especially because they're like always having sales. So if you get the stretchy ones, they're, they fit and they're worth every penny. Low cotton. Hollister and Fashion Nova are like my top two right now. Split hem stretch jeans, light blue wash, size three. So anytime you are ordering from Fashion Nova, always go, like what works for me is very like low cotton. So these I think were like 50 or 60% and that's like the range I like to stay at. I don't like to go any higher just cause then I know it's not gonna fit me well. These are very stretchy and fit my waist, so I'm extremely happy. Um, I love this print. I don't have jeans like this. Like these are split hem paired with like some heels are gonna be so cute. But like look, there's like, it fits my waist perfectly. It's got a little rip right here. Very flattering. I love this color, even with this bodysuit. I'm like trying to show like the whole fit. So like these are them, they're very cute, very comfortable, lots of stretch, like there's no like snugness anywhere. Oh, and then I have these Tiger Mist 
I have gotten so many questions about these. So Tiger Mist is another good place for like the wide leg skater link. Like these are light wash. The only thing is, is the waist is really big. Um, I got it in a size small. Fits my backside pretty well. The waist is just one of the jeans that I like to take a shoelace in, in the back three loops and kind of cinch in my waist just because it is pretty big. But I mean, for a good baggy pair of jeans, Tiger Mist is a good option. They've got rips, it's just light denim, which is my fave. Definitely um, very trendy right now, a pair of some sneakers, kind of like a casual baggy fit. Backside again is not very flattering in dad jeans. Um, pretty baggy. Waist is not as snug as like the Hollister, but I don't mind it. It's still cute. Okay guys, so that is everything I have for today's denim try on haul. You can always hem your jeans if you want to get it to fit a little bit bigger so it fits your backside, but then kind of take in the waist. You could always do that, be more money, but you know, sometimes you gotta get, you gotta do what you gotta do to get some jeans to fit. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below some good jeans that you have tried that you really like that fit well so that we can all kind of help each other out, find those jeans that we need. This video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.